If you look through the web for a review for the Samsung Galaxy S5 or the HTC One M8, people are quick to say, well, the HTC One M8 feels a lot more premium compared to the Samsung Galaxy S5. Uh, just because one's full metal body and one's polycarbonate. So you're bound to see a review of the Samsung Galaxy S5 calling it cheap, or they might say, well, I prefer the metal body on the HTC One M8. In this video, I'm gonna bring you five reasons why I actually think the polycarbonate back cover or build is better than HTC One M8 metal body or any smartphone for that matter. Well, I'm Tommy, you guys are watching Gadgets Boy. Let's check it out. So the first thing that the polycarbonate body or back cover, whatever you wanna call it, offers a smartphone is better grip. If you look at the Samsung Galaxy S5, for those who have handled it before, the first thing that everyone would say is how, how good it feels in terms of grip. Um, it sort of sticks to your hand in a funny way. It's hard to explain how well it grips into your hand. So if you were to hold it when you're drunk, for example, you don't have to worry about your phone slipping out of your hand. Whereas if you were to do the same thing with a metal body like the HTC One M8, for example, there's no, there's not a lot of grip there and it's easily, it can easily slip out of your hand. Next is the weight. If you notice on the Samsung Galaxy S5, it feels a lot lighter compared to the HTC One M8, for example. I keep using these two as a good example because they're the two smartphones out at the on the market at the moment with those two distinctions. So the Samsung Galaxy S5 feels a lot lighter which can be a bonus for many. Next is color options. So having polycarbonate body and stuff on the Samsung Galaxy S5 also means you have wide array of colors available, color options available to you. So you can have a blue one, you can have the copper gold, for example, that I've got in my hand, or you can have it in black or white as well. Whereas if you have a metal body, there's uh, less color options. We can see that with Apple iPhone 5S. Uh, we can see that with the HTC One M8, for example. Next is the removable battery. Because they've used a uh, polycarbonate back cover, it's not a, a unibody design, which means you can take the back cover off and you can change the battery. Uh, you can add memory card underneath it. Well, fortunately, HTC One M8 recently, they've added memory card options, so you can add memory card onto it as well. But if your battery fails, uh, you can't change the battery. It's a unibody design. Or if you wanted an extra battery just to carry around with you in case your battery dies, you can't do that with the HTC One M8. So, on to the final point. Taking into consideration that people can be clumsy and things like that, so we have to think about your physical impact for the smartphone itself. So if you were to drop the Samsung Galaxy S5, for example, because of the polycarbonate body, it would kind of absorb that physical impact better than a metal body would. So a metal body would vibrate through the motherboard and things like that. But on the plastic, the plastic back cover would take all the vibrations and absorb that physical impact. Meaning it's a lot more durable if you think about it that way. Plus, if you do scratch the back cover, you can simply just order a different back cover and stick it on there and it's as good as new. So guys, those are the five reasons why I still think the polycarbonate body build kind of thing on a smartphone is still a good option. It shouldn't be ruled out completely or just because it's polycarbonate, say it's not premium, it's still a good smartphone. But on the other hand, the HTC One M8 metal body still feels nice and yeah, most people that I show it to, they still prefer that. But those are the five reasons. Let me know what you guys think though. Do you think polycarbonate for the, for the win, for the way? Or HTC One M8's total metal body? Your choice, leave a comment below. If this is your first time watching this video and you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up as well. By the way guys, do let me know what you guys think of these style of videos. Would you like to see some more? Or should we stop doing it? Let us know in the comment area below as well. I've been Tommy, this is Gadgets Boy. Make sure you are subscribed for more content. Catch you in the next one.